Hey there, I'm Josh Clark. This is Brain Stuff. Have you ever been pumping gas in your car? Then all of a sudden, psh, it just shuts off in your hand. Bam, maybe it takes a finger off, that kind of thing. How does a gas nozzle know when to shut off? Well, I'm here to explain. It's actually surprisingly complicated. Have you ever heard of the Venturi effect? If you take a tube and you pinch it in the middle, then fluid, and remember fluid can be gas, can be liquid, doesn't just have to be water or something. After the pinch, after it goes through the pinch, it becomes compressed. And as its velocity speeds up, the pressure on the other side of the tube actually decreases. Keep that in mind, that's the Venturi effect. If you look at a gas nozzle, you'll see a little hole toward the end. And that hole actually leads to a tube. And that tube runs all the way up the length of the gas nozzle and it usually tees off. On one side, you've got a Venturi tube. On the other side, you've got a tube leading to a diaphragm of air. Now that diaphragm of air is all blown up nice and big while there's air running through the nozzle sensor. So while you're pumping gas, and gas is in the tank and you're still filling it up, air is moving through this little sensor pipe quite nicely. The pressure on one end of the Venturi tube, which is on this side, is nice and low. And on the other side, the diaphragm is nice and puffed up. Air pressure, no problem. But as the gas starts to rise, maybe it starts to foam or it starts to just simply fill up the tank, that sensor, that pipe, starts to suck up gas. And when the gas is sucked up, the density of gas is a lot, uh, lot heavier than the density of just air. The Venturi tube all of a sudden changes in pressure, which creates suction on the other end of this pipe which sucks the diaphragm, which collapses a little bit, triggering an automatic shutoff. Seriously, that's what's going on in your gas nozzle when you're pumping gas and it fills up. That's how it knows your tank is full. So uh, I guess maybe ruminate on this, chew on it, think about it for possibly the rest of your life. It is really complex, but pretty cool. It's not magic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm sure you like this video. There are tons of other ones. If you have a question that you want us to answer, you can leave it in the comment section below on YouTube. Uh, like us, subscribe to us, just be all things brain stuff. It'll make you smarter.